So once you go to offensivesecurity.com on the search, type in Pi or Raspberry Pi. And then click on Kali Linux ARM downloads. And here we go. Here you can see all the downloads. Raspberry Pi Foundation. You can download your image file from here. I'm going to download 64 bit because I am going to use a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigabyte on it and it will support 64 bit as well. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to download. Once the download finish, unzip the file and we'll use Rufus to write this image to the SD card. Once the image written to the SD card, I'm using SanDisk Extreme Pro 32 gig. It's Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gig RAM on this. I do have a case for it. So here it goes. It's a Raspberry Pi original case. All you have to do Put that in place. Is it in place? Yeah. And then you can put the. I do have a fan. I put a uh, fan in there. It's called fan shim. So put the cover in. There you go. And then on the back, we put the SD card in here. Micro SD card, of course. That's done. I'll be there's the USB C power cable. I do have an on and off button. Uh, there's the Ethernet cable goes in here. Hope you can see that line cable. I'll be putting that Bluetooth for the USB and mouse, put that in here. And what else? There's the mini HDMI cable. It goes on this side here, either of them. So I'll just put that in here. There we go. And then we can, let's show you in there happening let's let's power this on and it's on now we can put the case in there we go and let's go to the screen so it's booting up now for the first time let's call it Linux on a Raspberry Pi but this is a very special Kali which is Raspberry N Kali once you log in with a username Kali and password is Kali. This is the login screen. And after that, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.